Okay, so very boring, very, very boring light. Everything that we are seeing has been customized and um, conveniently placed so that we can see it. So the light is climbing towards the camera. Let me show you why it's boring. So when I say boring, this is what I mean. Everything is visible. So the dark side of his face is on the opposite side. It's where we can't see, um, which makes it, again, very convenient. Okay, well, we don't, we don't care about this far side. We see less of it. So let's, let's reduce the light on it. That makes sense, right? Um, and then the camera is, is, you know, wherever the camera is positioned, so slightly shorter than him, the light is climbing towards that general area. And everything is visible. And the background is overly detailed with that texture splash you added, but also just dark and out of the way. It's a, it's a portrait. So we're not, nothing is happening. And, and I'm, I'm a portrait artist, so I'm not saying portraits are boring, but portraits don't tell the full story. And so you're working with the least exciting of the mediums of the way to deliver your, your paintings, which is portraits. It's not that exciting. Um, if you're a portrait artist like me, who's obsessed with human faces, um, it's very exciting. I love portraits, but for a, a portfolio, um, you know, trying to get hired, trying to make book covers, it's not that exciting. How do we make it more exciting? So I opened up Portrait Studio. Portrait Studio is a reference um, generation software that you can use to build references. You control light, model, camera angle, everything, and it's available on my store if you want it. Spread.com. So what's happening here? Why does he look sexy here? What's, what's this new sexy lighting that we're looking at? So I moved the camera so that we're shorter than him. And these controls are really nice because you can just control everything you want here instead of moving the camera. And then you can move the, uh, you can pan the whole scene or you can zoom in. Um, what I did, I did a number of things. I darkened the background by going to the, uh, the menu on the right and changing the background color. I turned off the direction, I mean, I turned on the directional light, but I reduced its strength, so I kept it low. That way we can darken the scene. And I added a point light behind his face, all right? So it's illuminating the far sides so that we're angling the camera enough that we're getting rim light. And I added a spotlight that allows some light to shine through revealing his jawline, because without the spotlight, it can go back to being boring. And the spotlight has revealed some information. So this vampiric, demonic, 5,000-year-old sexy boy is now even more sexy because we see less of him. So mystery is, is what you're doing, is how you apply lighting. It's the atmosphere, it's the moon. So I haven't been talking much about lighting because I kind of have been doing a lot more portraits lately, but it's fun, always fun to talk about lighting because you can't talk about lighting without talking about movies. Hey, I painted a great face. I did a great through quarter view. I posted it. I got five likes. Why? Why did I only get five likes? Um, because you weren't really telling a story that made people think. You weren't um, uh, creating something that sticks with people. What sticks with people is the story. It's why comic artists and people who post consistent stories through different posts, the same characters in different poses, or half the reason people come back is for the story. Um, so lighting is storytelling. So make sure you understand what your lighting is doing and uh, and, and tell a better story. Um, revealing everything is pretty boring. Okay, I okay, I got the whole thing. All right, so I'm going to click away and not leave a like. Um, and that's, that's why you guys get little likes, even though you're skilled and you can blend your ass off and you have good edges and you had a great three-quarter view, um, it was still just a very boring image with, with mismatched colors and uh, it's supposed to be a vampire. I think, or a demon. Either way, they don't live in the light. Um, it's up to you what you want to do. You could also gray. I like the grayscale. I really like that one as well. That that felt sexy. Um, and then, but just keep the eyes yellow. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching. I really appreciate when you guys come out to the um, to the record to the live streams. Um, thank you to those who watch the recording, but thank you to those as well who who joined the Twitch. Uh, stream. So I'm right now switch, uh, switching off of Twitch. I'm streaming off of Twitch. So join me on Twitch. Go to istabrak.com and click here to follow me on Twitch. Please make sure you follow in order to get notifications and emails next time I'm live. Um, and I also do more than this. I sketch, I paint live as well and all through Twitch. Um, so if you guys want to uh, watch me draw, chill with me, story time, all that fun stuff, 
Um, uh, I stream weekends. Lately, I've been a bit busy working on the master class, uh, but I've been uh, uh, streaming a little bit more. I just uploaded this painting to patrons uh, as a reward, so if you want to see it, it's going up. This month's assignment for patrons has just gone up um, for apprentices. Only apprentices get access to the private Discord uh, uh, assignments. All patrons get access to, to, to today's full stream. Um, and if you want to buy Portrait Studio, it's available on my store. The lowest it'll be this year if you want to get it before it goes up. Um, and uh, a, a link to my masterclass will be available on my store, but it'll lead to Gumroad. And um, the Floral Humanoid Design Challenge is available on my Reddit. So if you want your work critiqued, like I critiqued this piece today, click on the Reddit icon at the top of my page um, and it'll take you to our Reddit community. Make sure you guys join. And if you like today's class and you learned from it, please consider joining as a dollar patron. It's just a dollar a month, $12 a year, um, untraceable amount for those who, you know, who, who, for whom it is untraceable. Um, uh, but uh, if you would like to support, I'd really appreciate you send some support my way. Um, I've been doing this for a really, really long time. And I never really have asked, this is just a recent thing, it's a recent development where I've been asking people to join as patrons just to keep the community independent and keep it running for a really long time. Um, and uh, that's it for today. Thank you guys for coming. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, Tuesday, uh, the 12th at 5 p.m. Eastern, if my health allows. Thank you guys. Bye.